Welcome to Brother Dhamir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create uh, Azure Synapse Analytics uh, workspace. Um, a Synapse uh, workspace is your main control center, the place uh, where you can build, manage, and monitor all your analytics uh, tasks, um, such as the SQL, Spark, pipelines, the reports, etc., in one unified experience. Uh, now, what steps uh, we will take? Uh, we have to go to the portal.azure.com. Then we have to select the uh, Synapse Analytics. Uh, once we search that, uh, we are going to find it and then click uh, Create button. Uh, we need a subscription, we need a resource group, and uh, we need the workspace name that we would like to provide. Uh, then we have to provide the region uh, in which uh, region we would like to create the workspace. Uh, after the region, uh, we will be selecting the configuration of storage uh, and in that uh, we will be choosing uh, data lake storage and two account if we have already created or uh, we have to create new one. Uh, then uh, we will be creating a container or uh, if we will be using an already existing container. Uh, this is where your data, notebooks, logs, uh, etc. will be stored. Uh, so in our case, uh, for the security settings, uh, we will leave this to default, uh, but you can always come back uh, and uh, configure the private endpoints, firewall, etc. when we need it. Uh, and uh, finally, we will review that uh, all the uh, configuration and then we will, we will hit the create button. Um, and finally, once uh, it will create uh, the Azure Synapse uh, Analytics, uh, then uh, we will go to the um, Azure Synapse Analytics and uh, then uh, start our Synapse Studio. So now we can go ahead and open portal.azure.com and then search for Synapse. So once you do that, it's going to open Azure Synapse Analytics tab here and you can click on that one. You can create the workspace from here or you can simply create from here. So let's do that and here is my subscription that I have selected and then I have to provide the resource group. So I have selected Tech Brothers and here is a manager resource group. So it is important for you to provide that because here is the whole definition for it. Manager resource group is a container that holds the ancillary resources created by Azure Synapse Analytics for your workspace. By default, the manager resource group is created for you when you uh, your uh, workspace is created. Optionally, you can provide uh, the resource group uh, according to the naming convention you like. Uh, so if, uh, let's say, I would like to say Tech Brothers and then say MRS, okay? Now, if I want to do something like a resource group uh, for Synapse, so I will say SYN. Okay, fine. So maybe this is the naming convention I want to follow and uh, everything start with Tech Brothers and uh, then uh, you can provide the resource group uh, here. Now, here is the workspace the detail that we can uh, provide the name of the workspace. Uh, so I'm going to call it Tech Brothers and uh, I will say Synapse. Okay, so that's the naming convention. It's checking right now. So it is available and we will do that. And it is in East US, the region. And uh, here is, uh, remember that we were talking about the data lake storage and two. Uh, you can either create by yourself in advance or it will, uh, you can create from here. So I'm going to go ahead and create uh, from here. So now it is asking me what will be the name. So I'm going to call it Tech Brothers uh, Synapse, okay, STG, storage. So that's the storage account uh, I would like to create and then uh, uh, file system name, so container, uh, whatever the name you want to do. In this case, uh, I'm going to call this uh, SYN. PS and container okay so that's the name of our container and uh, then uh, we are all good here now what we are going to do we are going to go to the security tab here and uh, we can uh, provide uh, we have to provide SQL server admin login so I'm going to leave this one uh, you want to change it you can go ahead and change it uh, maybe we'll say Amir uh, or uh, my SQL account Okay, so that's our account and here is uh, the password. So we'll give the password because uh, we'll be using this uh, with the SQL uh, pools. Uh, so here, okay. Now we have that there and uh, then we are gonna go to the, we leave everything else as is and go to networking. And uh, here uh, in C, manage virtual networks. Uh, so I'm dis leaving this to disable, but if you have your virtual network, you wanna configure them right there, you have all the options available to use uh, accordingly. Now here, uh, allow connections from all IPs. Uh, I'm not worried about too much security, but right now, so we can uh, leave this as is and uh, then uh, uh, if you want to provide a tag, you can provide the tag uh, and it helps in building and uh, writing queries and seeing uh, uh, different uh, uh, information about your uh, services uh, that and when you go to the billing and all that. So it is helpful. 
So if you want to do that, fine. Otherwise, you go ahead and create. And now it's going to create our Azure workspace. So see right there, Azure uh, uh, Synapse Analytic Workspace by Microsoft uh, says serverless uh, SQL estimated cost uh, $5 per uh, terabyte. So as of now, we are not really doing anything. Uh, we are not uh, going to write queries and everything. So this is OK. We can go ahead and uh, create. And uh, then later on, we'll be using uh, different uh, SQL pools or uh, Spark pools. And uh, then you will see all those details for the billing as well. So now our resource is ready and we can go to the resource group here and uh, you can see that in the Tech Brothers uh, resource group uh, we have uh, different things. Uh, we can see uh, the Tech Brothers uh, Synapse right there. That's what we created the workspace and you can see this is a Synapse workspace. So we can click right there and uh, also you notice that uh, we have a Tech Brothers uh, Synapse STG. That's our storage uh, is created as well. So if I click uh, here first uh, you can see that there should be uh, container under that we have created that con container called synapse container so under this container as of now we don't have anything so we can upload files from here as well if we want but let's go to this synapse uh, tech browser synapse uh, here and uh, that's uh, open our synapse studio to take a look on this uh, workspace so, so here is the data tab and uh, we can see the workspace here and then we can see linked and uh, if you remember that uh, when we were creating the workspace it asked us hey you have to provide ADLS uh, gen 2 and we did provide that uh, and uh, that's uh, you can see right there it is connected to that and uh, then we can see the container uh, we provided so once you click on container, it's going to show you right there the container. You can uh, create new folders, you can upload files and everything. So there are a lot of things that we'll be doing in the next videos. Uh, but uh, uh, you can see how exactly in the workspace uh, when you go to da data, you are going to see linked. And uh, those are the links uh, to your uh, storage. Now if you go to the develop and uh, there uh, you are going to create uh, like SQL script, KQL, uh, custom query language, notebooks, data flow, Apache Spark, job definition, browse gallery, import. So there are all different uh, things available to you. We are going to explore each of them as well. Uh, now let's go to the next tab called integration. And uh, once you click on the integration, uh, the whole uh, menu changes here. When you click on the plus sign, you can create a pipeline, uh, link a connection, copy data tool, browse gallery, importer from the pipeline template. Uh, so there are these are all the different features that are available there as well. Uh, so we are going to explore in each of them as well. And uh, here's the monitoring and uh, you can see if uh, those pipelines uh, you have run and uh, with the SQL pool or Apache Spark pool, uh, data explorer pools uh, and uh, this all uh, you can see that uh, then you have a SQL request, all those uh, queries you have run, KQL uh, crystal queries that you have run or Apache Spark applications and the data flow debugging. So there is a tons of information and then you have integration and then you can have a, um, pipeline runs, triggers uh, runs uh, and uh, integration run times. Uh, I have a complete videos on all these, you know, what is the self-hosted Azure SSIS uh, and everything. So I have a videos on everything and there is a list called the Azure Data Factory Pipeline uh, playlist and uh, you can watch from there. So here is the link connection and uh, you can explore that uh, part as well. Now we see a lot of things here and now finally we have manage and uh, there uh, you can uh, use this uh, to create your uh, SQL pools, you know, uh, you can create your Apache Spark pools, uh, you can uh, create your uh, data explorer pools uh, and uh, you can create linked services, Microsoft Purview, external connections can be done here as well. Uh, you have uh, triggers, integration runtimes, you know, if you need to create new integration runtimes and all that you can create from there. And then you have security and uh, then uh, credentials and then you have uh, different configuration and libraries. Uh, so workspace packages, data flow libraries, Apache Spark configurations. Uh, so all those uh, different configuration, uh, custom configurations can be done from here as well. And then you have finally git configuration. Uh, so that's our source control and you can configure to save uh, all those uh, different objects into the git uh, if you like. Uh, so this is a pretty uh, quick uh, uh, demo I have given you but we are going to go pretty much on each of the tab and explore that and I will show you in the next videos. Uh, I thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.